So, you know, kind of staying along these lines uh, with the, the CCC, the Coastal Commission, mm -hmm. um, boy, there was a lot of public comments on, on this issue. Um, some, how many? 45,000. 45,000. That's right. Okay. Now, you know, before we, before we get into all that, one thing that I keep hearing over and over again um, from, I've heard it from the ranchers, I've heard it from the local congressmen here, they say, well, you know, 90%, you know, you got to be careful with that. Or they say, well, a lot of that was just form letters. It's basically the same comment over and over again. Right. And so, you know, even one of the ranchers told us, so all those form letters is just one comment. That's all it is. What's it? What's your takeaway on that? I mean, should everybody, should it be one person, one comment? Or if you don't actually offer up something unique and insightful, should your opinion just not matter? Well, I think I understand why uh, that side of this issue would say that. Um, but first of all, I would say that there weren't form comments in favor of ranching. It's not that people who care about the environment uh, more than ranching are the only ones that have the opportunity to uh, rally people to their cause. So the ranching industry could have ginned up support their own form. Yeah, why not? And, and I would think that if you bother to submit something, even if some group made it easy, click here and then sign your name and then click to submit, uh, you're still doing something and you still care. I mean, it, it shouldn't count for nothing. And you're espousing a position, essentially. You, well, it's interesting because if, um, if Representative Huffman or anybody on, on sort of that side of the issue wants to dismiss those comments, I mean, what are they saying? Are they saying that people are submitting comments that, are, that they don't really believe? I mean, that's not very flattering towards his constituency. If you read a form letter and you don't feel that way, you're not going to submit it, a, at least if you have any, you know, self self awareness and, and integrity. Now, I do get that it's easier to do it, and so there might be some sense in which that inflates the numbers. But again, the other side could do the same thing, and they didn't. So, um, you know, the the numbers that came out, uh, we we read everything. Uh, let me let me stop you there. You're you're the man. You know, I've been trying to look. Like, okay, all these comments, so many, you know, nearly 8,000 uh, to the National Park Service. That's right. Directly on their uh, NEPA mandated uh, public comment period. And then, of course, these 45,000 for the CCC. Right. You are actually the man that, that analyzed all of these comments and whether they were yay or nay or what alternative they supported, correct? That's, that's correct. Uh, to the general management plan, the first set of comments, there were 7,627 comments. The Park Service uh, thinks there's 7,624, but three of them appeared twice. Okay. Like just, just you know, just a clerical error. The only reason I'm telling you that is to let you know how carefully we read them. Are, Ken, are, are you a speed reader? Did you read all these comments? <laughs> or how did you do it? So for the 7,600 or so, we split them up into blocks of 500, and we had a number of people that read them and categorized. And yes, of course, there is some chance that people categorized with a bias because it was people that I know that are concerned about the park. Um, so there are different ways that we could uh, address that and, and let people know that we're confident in our findings. But the biggest way, let me just go cut to the punchline, is that we published all our findings. We took every comment, we color coded it, and we put that up on a public website and told people where they are. So if anybody doubts us, go and look and, and have, a, have a peek yourself. And if you find 10 or 20, or if you find 100 that are miscategorized, you will not change the l lopsided uh, landside results uh, anyways. So what happens if you take out all those form letters? What does it look like then? So from the, the original comments uh, to the GMP, they weren't categorized. Uh, uh, the, the Park Service did not separate what they thought was a form letter from the rest. So you do see the same text copy pasted uh, when you read 7600. Uh, we didn't count those ourselves. It, it's a lot of work, this kind of data analysis. There may have been a few hundred. There may have even been, you know, just trying to be very conservative and not, not, not um, 
let my own bias get in the way. There may have been a thousand or fifteen hundred letters that were repeated, uh, but the but the comments were ninety five percent against alternative B and in favor of getting rid of ranching in the park. Mm -hmm. So you could pull out half of them. I mean, if you were a statistician and you had a large uh, uh, data set, you would sample. And, and if you had 500 or 1,000 or 2,000 letters out of that size, you'd have a very good sample. So the fact is um, there's no way in which you can look at that data and dismiss what's the obvious public sentiment that people don't want ranching in there. For the Coastal Commission, they actually did separate out form letters. Mm -hmm. So that was very nice to us because we did not read 45,000 pieces of, of correspondence. Yeah. They said, here's a form letter and this appeared, you know, a couple, few thousand times. Here's another form letter and this appeared a few thousand times. So we actually tallied them up both ways, including the form letters and excluding the form letters. And if you include the form letters, by the way, there were 12 letters or 12 pieces of correspondence in the 45,000 supportive of consistent. 12, not 12,000. 12,000, 12. I, I thought that was a typo when I read it. It's amazing how um, it's near unanimity. If you just, at first approximation, every piece of correspondence was against uh, uh, con um, consistency and against plan B. Now, if you look, and so of the, let, let, me, let me make this clear in, in, in net. If you take out the form letters, there's about 400 uh, individual pieces of correspondence. So On the CCC comment. To the, to the CCC. So that's a number you can read. So we read them all, and there are 12 that said, you know, ranching is good or please find for consist consistency. We like plan B, something like that. Of the 12, by the way, three of them were from Albert Strauss, who runs one of the dairies. Right. Two of them were from the Robert Giacomini dairy. And one of them was from MALT, the Marin Agricultural Land Trust. So six of, of the 12 are actually people with vested financial interests. You know, we didn't take those out. Okay, their, their view counts like everybody else's counts. But um, so it's either 45,000 roughly to 12 or 390 something to 12. So in other words, it's either 99.95% against consistency in ranching in the park, or it's about 95 or so percent against ranching in the park. That 95 percent is almost exactly the number we got from the GMP comments. So we've got here two large data sets, 7,600, 45,000, or 400, depending on whether you count right. form letters or not, and the numbers are just about the same.